Welcome back. Um, as you can see, I've had a couple of new additions to my mining rig. Um, on the right hand side there, we've got a Gigabyte 3060. In the middle, we've got a Galax 3060 and my original Zotac. I do have them separated by a slot each and they run perfectly fine. The reason I've done that is because um, uh, th this one would be generating, would be blowing out hot air to here, which then this one would be sucking in and then heating up again and then blowing to this one. So these ones would always be hotter than this one. So I found by separating them, um, that solves a, a, a big heating issue. Um, they run fine. I can actually run them all the way to the end, and I have done, and they run perfectly fine on every single slot. Um, the big issue that I've had is since adding the third card is um, I've had to dial back the overclocking because the stability changes um, basically to meet the needs of the slowest card. In that case, it, in this case, sorry, it is the gigabyte. It is slightly slower than the others. Um, uh, it was a minor setting, but it solved a couple of big problems, um, along with upping the virtual memory in Windows 10. Um, I basically upped that to about 32 gigs, um, just to be safe, and I haven't really had an issue since then. Um, I'll show you my overclock settings um, shortly, um, and what we'll do on this video is go through uh, some of the software that I use um, to uh, mine different coins. As you can see with three cards, it's still not generating any real heat um, at any speed. Um, so onto the software. The first one obviously is going to be NiceHash. It is the most user-friendly for beginners. Um, and what you do is you go into the plugins you select the plugins that you like. Um, basically, I'm just using LOL Miner and NV Miner. Um, you can use any of these that you like. They all have different um, algorithms that they will run. And when you when you install these, um, they um, when you install them, they um, give you options uh, in the benchmarks as to what you can run. So as you can see, NB Miner really is the only one that I've got there. And it's got Octopus, Beam, Core Power, Dagger Hashimoto, Cuckoo, and Green Cockatoo. Um, the only two I've got enabled are Core Power and Octopus, um, because they are the two that are routinely the, the highest earners at the moment. It's not technically the case, they're, they're quite low. Um, they can quite comfortably sit around 6,000. Um, but you set those up, you do your, when you run them, if you haven't, if you've, once you've installed them, if you haven't benchmarked them and you press start, they will automatically benchmark before getting to this screen. So this one should be Core Power, as it's the bigger earner. Now, as the algorithms change value, these will stop mining and change to the most profitable one um, because it, it's obviously more profitable for the miner and it's, all, it's also profitable for NiceHash because they do take a cut. So it's in everybody's interest to run the most profitable um, piece of software. Um, the only thing with Nice hash is it pays out only in Bitcoin. Regardless of what you mine, it pays out in Bitcoin. So um, as long as you're okay with that, then um, then that's a good thing. Um, the other ones that I run are Conflux, which is the Octopus algorithm, Raven, which is Core Power, Ethereum, and somebody's come up with, T-Rex have come up with Ethereum and Conflux in one thing to utilize the maximum uh, of these LHR cards. So I'll just run through them each individually, Conflux first. So this, this in, this is in NB Miner, the software itself, and it's the one that I use in NiceHash. 
So this is what it will look like regardless. Um, so it looks very similar to the core power one. Um, and that will generate to my Conflux wallet. So that's the pool that I use, Wooly Pooly, for Conflux. And uh, that will, every time you get to one Conflux token, it will send it to your wallet. And my wallet, obviously, there. Um, so I'll get out of this one. Raven is very much the same. And I use the same pool with it. Um, there. Okay, so that's crashed again. Try that one one more time. Okay, so exactly the same as what runs in NiceHash. Um, no real difference there. The only real difference is instead of going to the nice hash pool, it goes to um, Wooly Pooly and will generate there and that will then send proceeds. Once you hit five Raven coins, that will send them to my, once I hit them, it'll send to my Atomic Wallet. Um, and so you see the shares as you go, you can see the three cards there. They're all very similar speeds. Um, that's pretty much the max for core power. Um, 23, 24, that's my power. I've dumbed it down to about 78%. Um, that's really what I've found to be the sweet spot um, for these cards. Um, I'll get out of there. Uh, incidentally, Octopus does mine at around 44, 45 mega hash. Um, with Ethereum, I have a different setting, but it's, it's just a power setting, so I'll, I'll run this one. Now, this one uses LOL Miner. Um, I'll go back up there. As you can see, LOL Miner 1.33 is the current one. It's got a really good uh, LHR um, bit of programming in it to when uh, it'll run as close as it can to the edge of locking up the cards. If they do lock up, it'll it'll um, it'll stop, let them unlock, and then just lower the speed a tiny little bit, and then go back to mining again. So you don't lose the card if it does lock up. Um, I'm finding I'm in low miner. I'm getting between 34 and 35 mega hash. Um, with my settings, so that's running really, really well. Um, as far as the pools go, I'm using Ethermine. I'll just open this up. So this is my Ethermine. Um, the payout is 0.01 Ethereum, so one hundredth of an Ethereum. I'm at 54% of my payout threshold. Other ones like Wooly Pooly are 10 times the amount, so you're sitting on that for ages. With the three cards, it takes about four days to hit 0.01, so um, it's quite quick for um, for what it does. Um, it's got a bit of graphical thing so you can analyse where you're going with it and what you're doing, um, and it's, it's, it's quite a tidy little thing. Um, and as you can see, this will calibrate when it first starts it'll work out what your maximum speed's going to be so and it'll keep doing that until it finds a spot where it's happy in the meantime it does mine so there's a share that's been accepted already um, so there's some payout right there and then so that'll keep going and as you can see 33 33.8 33.6 it is still adjusting so 34 34 pretty much 34 so it'll keep going um, and get to a point where it's completed there 34.6 34.7 34.07 so um, it's significantly quicker than any other one that I've found um, and it's very smooth it's a very smooth piece of software um, now the other one is a bit of an Easter egg. It's only just come up, 
as of it was the 14th of October, so this has only come up in the last week. Ethereum and Conflux. Now this is T-Rex. So um, what this does is it simultaneously mines Ethash and Octopus. And what it, the way it does it is <clears throat> it utilizes 30% of the card's capacity for eth uh, Ethereum mining and the balance for Octopus. And it use it does this in order to get around the LHR limitations. So um, by doing this, it allows the card to utilize 100% of its capacity. Um, and the big plus, obviously, is that you get paid out in two coins. So um, this is a relatively new one. I haven't really run it that much, but it um, definitely shows up in Ethermine and uh, Conflux as uh, as far as payouts go. So uh, it's definitely worth a look. That one again is T-Rex. Hang on a sec, I'll get onto, oh, what are you doing? These are the three that I'm running. T-Rex 0.24, LOL Miner 1.33, and MB Miner. Um, as far as my overclock settings go, I should show you these. I'm running, I got rid of MSI Afterburner, and I'm using EVGA Precision now. Um, now this piece of software, obviously is by EVGA, every time you add a card, it gives you a new icon. So um, you can adjust the settings just for one card in, in, in this screen. So my overclock settings, uh, my memory setting is 1250, my GPU setting is 175. They are just about the only things I change. The only other changes I make are in the power. For everything that's not Ethereum, I set this at 78%. For everything that's Ethereum, I'll load one, I load it to 60% and it runs perfectly at 60%. As you can see, the clock settings are unchanged. 1250 and 175 so with that I can load that and then apply it and then I'll go to the next one do the same thing load it apply it and then I'll go to the other one load it and apply it and then in this you'll see that we're now 100 watts instead of 100 and, hang on, let me get off the screen, 130. So, and it will give the, exactly the same results, but with a third less power. So, definitely worth, definitely worth doing. Um, the only other change that I've made was in control panel in the system. When we go to this screen, settings for the system. We go to the about page and then the advanced settings. This will bring up this system properties page. On the advanced tab we go to performance, advanced and then down here we change. As you can see I've got a whopping big for three cards 32 to 35. It wants to use 1900. It recommends 1900. That will crash your cards. So up that as much as you can for some stability um, and you should get things running really well beyond that point that's pretty much all I've got to show you for this video but if you do have questions by all means feel free to ask them in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them in as much detail as I can good luck